Hi, this is Bibi. I'm in a lot of pain um, around my, my lower back, my um, pelvic area. Uh, just like a lot of pain, especially when I go in my kitchen, it's it's really gets strong. I I don't know why in the kitchen. I have no idea. My microwave, I unplug it. My uh, everything is unplugged. The only thing that's plugged in all the time is the refrigerator. At night, when I go to sleep, I turn it off. I turn off the lights. In the daytime, the lights are not on. Anyway. I've made a plea before to this woman who's doing this to me, to please stop doing this. To whoever she's hired, to whoever you know, hired her, I don't know. If they stole from me and they're afraid that I'm gonna come after them, I'm not gonna come after them. If they have something for me to sign to that effect, send it to me if they're afraid. I have a friend who, uh, he, he has a lawyer. We will take it to the lawyer, I will sign it, and I will send it back. See, this is not his choice. This is my choice. Because I want to live. I don't want to die. I want to live. I can't take this shit anymore. It's just chlorine all the time. My shirt was smelling really strongly of chlorine today. I almost was tempted to go out there and ask the, my, my neighbor upstairs to just smell it, just to, to get like some sort of an evidence there. I don't have chlorine in the house. It was smelling of, of, of bleach, chlorine. I go in my bathroom, it's all chlorine. And it's, for some reason now, it's like it's burning, burning. I don't know what I've consumed or if I've been inhaling something, but it's burning everywhere in my body. And they need to stop. They need to stop. The thing is, I will sign it. I will sign it. I don't want to die, not like this. I don't deserve this. Not after they're doing this to me because of what they have done to me before. Enough is enough. What, what, do you have to kill me? What do you want? What is it that you want? My death is not going to take you to heaven or hell. It's not going to make any of your problems disappear. You've stolen. Nobody is looking for you. If someone is looking for you, then that's between you and them. Why are you coming after me? Why are you coming after me? Excuse my language. Why is she coming after me? I don't know. You know what I've noticed? I'm sorry, when I'm in pain, I, I, I get like that. And I am in pain. I'm trying to keep myself down. I mean, keep, you know, my uh, emotions down a little. You ever notice like what's happening to us and the world at large? This is happening now, not only in America, it's happening all over the world. It's like everybody knows there's something wrong. They can sense it, they can see it, but it's just beyond, just beyond the peripheral of their mind, of their understanding, of their vision. As, well, the sight is not even close yet is they know it, they know that something is wrong, but we're all in this days like we're sleepwalking. Because I, I look at what's happening to me, how in the hell is this, uh, she's, it, why, how is this happening? It's like, I feel like it's either the, she goes in there or they put hose, it's hoses or something and they have, they will put hose and I guess they just, it's just like a, a mist or something and then it just comes out. Because I don't think anybody could be up there sitting all the time to inhale this. They're not going to do that. They love themselves too much. They will set these things in place. So, let me ask again. Do you, you, you feel it? Like you know something is wrong. You see something is wrong. But you can't really get like, to that clarity to, to identify, well, you know what? Jesus, why is this happening? And actually do something about it. It's like it's just beyond, just beyond the peripheral of your mind just beyond the peripheral of reality, where it, it actually makes sense, you've got to be kidding me. Oh my God, this has got to stop. To us, that's where they are. For us, it's like, we've, we are kind of like in a daze too, because we, we, it's happening to us and we don't know what to do. We don't know how to stop it ourselves. How, how, how do we get a hold of these people? How do we find them? I, I don't know.
is like a bad fucking cheesy horror movie. A real cheesy bad horror movie. Where it's just like you can't, you can't believe you bought a ticket or you turned it you turned the TV channel to watch this crap. It's like a really bad cheesy horror movie. It's like it's almost unbelievable. You ever notice that? It's like you can feel it. It's it's like you know something is wrong. You know something is wrong, but it's just like it's just it's just right there. You know, right there. You can't really. You're not really clear. It's right on the the cusp, or right right just right there, but it's not really there. This is what it feels like. Right on the peripherals of your your reality or making sense. I say reality because it's reality. It's not this is not um, I'm not speaking from a memory. A memory doesn't do this. A memory won't do this. Memory doesn't chlorine me and hack the crap out of me. This is real life, real time situations I'm experiencing. This is not a memory. This is not a yearning or a longing. This is a real problem. I'm, I'm suffering from real uh, problems here. And I don't know how to stop it. But I just wanted to put that out there. For some of you, you might have that feeling. You know something is wrong. But you just can't seem to like, it's like you're not connecting the dots where it actually makes sense and falls fall into place where you can go, aha, okay, yes, you're right. This has got to be something. It's just right on the edge and it's moving like, the more you go, the more it moves, like the carrot dangling in front of your face. The more you go, you go, uh, you know, you try to, you try to put it together is the more it seems to be going, just going away from you. As you move, it moves. Something got to be done about this. But I'm, t I'm imploring this person who is doing this to me. If you want me to sign something, come let me sign it. Send it to me if you're afraid to go. I will contact my friend. He has a lawyer. We will get this done. And I will mail it back to you. Just do what you got to do. Because this is unfair. This is unfair. This is really unfair. And the thing is, you know it's unfair and you're still doing it for all the, ch the chitter chatter all the time. You know it's unfair, you know it's wrong, but you do it anyway. This has got to stop. It really has to stop. What I'm saying about that, it's like, it's like, the way to end this, or the way for somebody who is, is just toying with this idea that something is... It's got to be off here with, with people who are complaining about this. It's right there on the per it's right there, but it's you're not quite there. It's like you're seeing it, but you're having a hard time believing it, or it's like it just seems too pat. It just seems too pat. Or it's just too many things they're doing. It makes it unbelievable. Whatever whatever the case might be, there's always gonna be like something steering you in the wrong direction. In the face of, of, of all that there is. And I guess this is why authorities are not looking into it. They're not taking it seriously either. But they should.